In 2022, is the best Nikon to buy really a 42-year-old camera? Maybe. So today I will be reviewing the legendary Nikon F3, showing you sample images and talking about its viability in the modern age, even if it is in its early 40s. The F3 is truly iconic. If you were to talk to any film nerd, they would tell you that. But why? Sure, all these images were taken with F-series cameras, the F3 being the most popular by far, but what makes it this iconic? Put it in a blockbuster movie level. Sure, it's not nearly as popular as a Hasselblad that's been to the moon and back, uh, but when The Secret Life of Walter Mitty wanted to depict a photographer who's a working professional and shoots film, they show him with an F3T. That's the titanium model, by the way. You would expect a camera in its early 40s to be going through kind of a midlife crisis, but it's not. The fact is, professional photographers replace their primary camera every three to five years. The F3 was in production and being purchased for over 20. Not to mention there were two other F model cameras that came out during that period. It's to this day, still the longest running production professional SLR that Nikon's put out. Okay, let's go over some work that isn't just old famous photos. Uh, last week, I went to Mexico City and shot uh, some street style photos that are a little bit more fast paced. So I relied on the internal light meter and I mainly shot in aperture priority. Before that, I had a fashion style shoot where I slowed down, we used actual lighting and an external light meter. But that's just it. The F3 hits all the most important marks to be versatile but still have a body that is mostly mechanical and just a workhorse of a camera. It's old and has been made for so long that it can be found at a reasonable price and still in really good condition. And although film has its downsides, it's still arguably a better image and color rendering than digital. It works with virtually all Nikkor lenses, which is just an extremely wide and versatile selection. It's manual focus only, which is a mixed bag, but for me, it forces me to slow down, think about the composition, and overall just improve my image. It's not fully mechanical, but it can be shot fully mechanical in a pinch. And it has just enough electronic features to give you aperture priority, a working light meter, and a self timer. I think I know what you're thinking right now. Uh, that's great and all, but like, how could you recommend such an old camera when there's crazy modern digital Nikon cameras. And you're right, I, I don't think that this can compete with the cutting edge brand new digital cameras. But if you're looking for cutting edge brand new digital cameras, don't buy a Nikon. So technically this is the camera that I recommend if you are set on buying a Nikon. I think this is your best bet uh, for getting images that you'll actually be proud of. Anyway, that's about it. And we're gonna go back to fighting, no? Okay, bye.